We're going to win here. Just you watch. He didn't mean today necessarily. But what they're building, he believes in strongly. Alec opens the scoring for Nebraska. Up the confetti from the student section. It's quite the sight. Well, lob for Gary, and on the way down, he puts it home. A great back pick from Keisei Tominaga, too. You don't want to help off Tominaga. I think the more you can put him in screening actions, the better it'll be for Nebraska. Uh, I. Ray finds some space in the lane and misses. A late clock again as Lawrence calls for a screen. Boyle out to help. There's Wiltshire in tight space. Went to the offhands. Nicely done. Wow. Right at the buzzer. And he's got the ball back in his hands. Oh, nice defense done. And rakes it out of there. Yeah, can't do that. You can't get too fancy handling the ball around Penn State. Picks with a catch and fire for three. But one of the things Mike Rhodes talked about was avoiding runs from Nebraska. They can put runs on you in this building. And so far, that hasn't happened. But there's plenty of time in this first half for one of those patented Pinnacle Bank Arena Husker runs. That's six points from Hicks, who's known as more of a catch-and-shoot guy. Driving and finishing. Tominaga, quick fire. Got that! Uh-oh. Trying to get within one or tie it before halftime. Dunn's had a good half scoring it. Cut off and turns it over. Great read from Jawan Gary. Like a free safety. Had two guys on that backside and intercepted the skip pass. Uh, Gary goes quick. Scores and the foul. Three of Penn State's more memorable Big Ten wins have been from behind at the half. They beat Indiana when they were down double digits. Michigan and Ohio State also. As Mast gets the roll on the first possession of half number two. Mark that as a two, by the way, for Hicks. From out deep for Penn State. There's Alec burrowing his way to the rim. Just great strength. Now Kern getting busy on the cross, but ran into Mast. Baldwin with single digits on the clock, finally scores. His fans are going to love watching him in March Madness, aren't they? <laughs> yes, he could be one of those NCAA tournament heroes. There's Kern. Oh, nice take. Nick Kern to the rim for Penn State. I know you're a little short-handed, but I think Penn State's got to take it up a notch defensively. Nebraska with seven turnovers in this game. Step back three. Tominaga got it. Here's some of that pressure, and Brown jumps it. And this could be their first bench points, and there it is. Eight turnovers in that first half been better in the second half, but the turnover call in both ways really important. Oh, oh, Sam there's one. Sam Hoiberg all alone. Do a timeout at the next dead ball. A turnover, Baldwin. Well, Lawrence has had his foot on the gas today. And the pull-up goes down. Much better job defending the three-point line. Certainly Penn State's missed some open looks. Well, how about those hands for Alec against a guard? Took that from Baldwin. Tap back. Gary rolls down. Hoiberg runs Hicks off the line. Lawrence runs Kern off the line. So it's Wahab playing inside. That's an and one for Kudis Wahab. Oh, behind the back, and Baldwin's all over it. Great idea, but when Ace Baldwin's on the floor, you better be careful. Hearn into the trees down there. Baldwin with his first three in this game. Hearn's out there denying. Forced 12 Nebraska turnovers, and Mast is all alone. Two on Tominaga, nobody on Mast. They say that Mast is jumping as well as he has in a long time after the week off. And Brown hits the three. Hoiberg. Mm. You're about to test your theory. Yeah, see what that smile looked like after a made basket. So Baldwin wanted the three. Gets it up on the second look, and here he comes. Eight points for Baldwin. Six of them have come in the last minute. But he wanted to travel there. Yeah, close. Tommy now going to hit some back. Nothing worse than when an official won't communicate with you. And I like the Kip was willing to say, all right, this is what, what I, why I did what I did. And communicate. And that'll do it. Nebraska stays unbeaten in Big Ten home games 16-1 overall.